finally a good snowfall. Winter certainly took its time this year, didn't it? Though this will make it harder to find my way back to town. Ugh. What in the ten... Who's there? If someone is following me, reveal yourself at once. The snow can hide many things, but it will not hide you from me. A human. Either I have gone mad or you have. Why would a human be in the Jotunwood? Especially on a winter night. Don't apologize. Not unless you've done something. Have you? Then don't waste my time with that. Now, I have questions, and you will answer them. Why are you here? You are lost. How lost? One does not just stumble into the Jotunwood. The trees are taller than any tower and old as the mountains. The wolves here grow large as horses. The birds large as men. The snow is deep enough to swallow you whole and leave no trace. And the cold can freeze the blood in your veins. That is to say nothing of my kind. Every year we find the remains of at least a human or two out here. Either you are the greatest fool who's ever lived, or you are lying, human. Which is it? It matters because your kind and mine are not on good terms. We Jotun are tall and strong. We thrive in the cold. But humans are cunning. You always have another dirty trick up your sleeves. Honor means nothing to you. A spider no bigger than your hand could kill you with its venom. Likewise, if you caught me in my sleep, you could slip a blade into my throat or poison into my veins. How am I to trust that you are only a hapless traveler and not a scout for an approaching army? Hmm. Yes, if you were a soldier, you'd be armed. Yet you don't even have a sword on you. Which makes you even more of a fool for coming here. Mm, let me guess. That's why you're following me, isn't it? You hope my presence will scare lesser predators away? Sorry to disappoint you, but there are beasts here more fearsome than I. Frankly, it's surprising you've made it this far. You must be doing something right. Though I can't see what. Why should I help you? Yes, you don't seem to pose any direct danger, but your foolishness could get someone hurt. Jotunwood has suffered quite enough from humans who are trying to harm it. Of course my heart is cold, human. I am a frost giant. We are born of the ice which existed before this world's creation. And you are a childish upstart who won't mind their own business. Be on your way. Oh, you're not serious. No, you're not just going to stand there shivering with that pitiful look on your face. Have you no pride? Yes, I suppose that's true. Your chances alone here are not good. Fine. For the safety of my people, I will not lead you to my town. But I can help you back to the forest's edge. Come along. What does my name matter? We will not meet again after this. Fine, if it's so important to you. I am Frigga. And you? Yes, that is a human name. Now come. What? What do you mean you thought I'd be taller? Your head is barely above my waist as it is. Huh. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Your people must have many stories about us giants. But no. We don't really grow as tall as mountains. Not anymore. Most of us are around my height. By not anymore, I refer to our own stories. We believe there are ten worlds, all built in the boughs of an enormous tree. And these worlds were built and shaped by giants. Ones more like what you imagined. Those whose heads brushed the sky. 
but crafting ten whole worlds was a monumental undertaking, even for these founders. Once the work was done, they laid down to rest, fell into a long, deep sleep. Ages passed. The founders were buried beneath dirt and stone and forest. Their bodies become mountain ranges. Someday, when the worlds have become old and spent, they will start to crumble. Then the founders will wake to reshape and rebuild them. A cycle as natural as any other. Birth, life, death, and then new birth from what remains. Of course, we don't think of ourselves as giants. We are precisely the size we should be. The founders would not have made us otherwise. You younger species, who arose on your own later on, are simply... small. No, I won't carry you. You're short, not lame. Don't make me regret helping you. No, you're not looking well at all. I wonder... There is still a way to go to the forest's edge, and the cold is not the only thing to fear in the night. We should find a safe place to wait until morning. Well, I may be able to make it there safely, yes. You likely won't. I'm already going out of my way for you, human. Don't make it so I've wasted my time. Now help me look for shelter. Hmm. Hmm. What do you see? Ah. Yes. Hiding under those rocks will get us out of the snowfall, and would be difficult for the larger predators to get into. Good eye. Huh. Really? That would help explain how you made it this far, though the Jotun wood is certainly different from the forests you know. Hold on. Let me climb in first. I would crush you if I went second. There. Come in. Oh. Hmm? I... I hadn't realized how small you actually were. It's one thing to see it, but another to feel it. Well... If you didn't want to feel small, why did you come to a place where everything is bigger than you? You want to show me something? Show me what? Ah, that patch sewn into your shoulder there? Yes, I see it. What of it? Oh. I had assumed it was some sort of military insignia. Why would your people cast you out so... What did you do? That doesn't make sense, human. No one simply throws one of their own out like that. A ritual? And what kind of ritual entails forcing one of their own people to leave so suddenly? A sacrifice. To what? To the forest itself, so it might relinquish some of its bounty in the spring? Huh, I see. Those humans we find in the wood. My people assume they're hunters who become too bold, or part of some invasion force. But they, or at least some, were like you, weren't they? Sent here to die as part of this barbaric ritual. Human, you may have already guessed this, but I am not generally one for charity. However, even I can recognize when someone has been treated unjustly. Has any of your people ever returned from this ritual? Then tell me. How do you think your people will react when a giantess emerges from the Jotunwood to return you to them? 
Hmm. I suppose we will find out tomorrow. For now, however, you must rest. Lie down. Get comfortable. Of course I'm cold. I'm a frost giant. But, here. Wrap yourself in my cloak. It will help keep you warm. If the wind blows in, I can keep it out with my arms. Huh. Don't get any ideas. I'm largely doing this to see the looks on those people's faces when I bring you back to them. But first, you need to make it there. Close your eyes, little one, and sleep. Hmm.